Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a new technique I've been working on. Um, I actually learned it from Sue Finley. I found her on YouTube if you want to check her out. Um, I'm going to be creating vases out of resin. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of the process that goes um, behind that. So I'm going to be using these plates. Um, I chose these plates because they have, you know, a pretty significant dip over here that I'm going to lay saran wrap on. And that's what I'm going to pour the resin on top of. So I'm um, just using, you know, regular plastic wrap. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. I wouldn't suggest a dollar store plastic wrap just in case, you know, I don't know how the quality on that is. Um, just want to make sure you have enough to cover the dish. So as you guys can see, I have um, the plastic wrap just laying down here. Um, when you lay it down, you really want to make sure you get it as flat as possible without having having any like major creases because um, it will show on the inside of the vase. Okay, but for now, this looks pretty good. I'm going to be using black diamond pigment. Um, this is the purple. It's probably my favorite pigment that they have. I just really like the color. Um, and then I'm just going to be using a turquoise paint and some white dye. Um, I'm also going to be using some of these rocks here. I have um, genuine turquoise and um, turquoise halite in here. And then it's just mixed with like these purple uh, crystals that I found at the dollar store. And I put some glitter in there just to give it another color. Um, the, the square one is just going to be the um, purple rocks and the glitter. All right, so I'm going to get started on that. Okay, and just so you know, when you're doing this type of um, process, you're going to need to let the resin sit for a little bit. Um, obviously, you're not going to be able to shape resin when you freshly pour it because it's going to be liquidy. I usually wait about two hours, depending on how it's curing, and then I'll come and I will um, form it myself, which I'll be showing you guys later on in the video. Okay, so once you're done laying the rocks around, you're going to take um, a popsicle stick. And I just like to create um, a simple design. You can really do whatever you want, but I usually start from the middle and just kind of wave it out. So it is pretty hard to control the design. It kind of just, you know, does whatever it wants. Um, so I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit, probably about two hours, and then I'm gonna come back and uh, see if it's dry enough to um, take off these plates. Okay, so we have it curing now. As you can see, um, the popsicle stick kind of made like a cool design along with the heat gun. I had to put more um, rocks on the edge of it just because it sunk into the resin because it's pretty pretty thick. We have this one. I used the white because I was trying to get the cell effect. Uh, I guess this one had a little bit more weight in it. And then I just kind of did a free form on the side because I didn't have enough resin to make the whole dish. So that one's going to be really tiny. I really like the star that shaped in that one though. So um we're gonna let these sit here for about two hours and then we're going to start shaping them. So the way I do it, um, I have uh, some cups set up here. I'm just gonna lift them up off the plate and put them right on top of the cup and see how it forms naturally to that. And now you can form them however you want. I'm kind of going for more of like a, a vase look, um, but you can roll it over something and but this is the way I decided to do it. If you want it to be more open, you could stuff some paper towels in under here. 
Um, but I find I kind of like it just closed in the way it does naturally. Um, so I'm going to let this sit here uh, overnight and until it's completely hardened. And then we're going to go and we're going to take off the plastic inside. And I'll show you guys the finished results of that. Let me just get you a close up so you can really see the way that it's shaping. Okay, so we just have the close up of it. And you can see how putting it on the cup gives it a flat surface over here. So when it's completely dry, you'll be able to stand on its own. You just want to make sure that it's definitely flat. See, this one's kind of shifting a little bit. So you want to keep an eye on it as it's drying because the, the shape can change. Um, you know, if you put it on here when it's, when it's too runny, you know, the gemstones can fall off. So it's just something to keep an eye on. Um, it's definitely a long process. Uh, this guy is really cute. I'm glad I was able to get a little guy out of it. So yeah, I'm going to let these dry overnight. It's about, let's say, 8 to 10 hours. And then um, we'll see how they look in the morning. Alright, so I let these dry overnight and they're pretty solid now. Um, now the next part is trying to take off the saran wrap. Um, sometimes it'll come off pretty easily. Um, if not, you can just grab a heat gun and it'll come right off. Uh, you just want to be careful when you're taking it off because it'll break apart. Okay, so if you have any issues with the way that it's shaped, you can also hit it with the heat gun since it's not, it's still, it's dry, but you'll be able to mold it still at this point. Um, so, you know, if you want to fix any sides here, um, I'm pretty happy with the way they came out. So um, I'm going to take them outside and show you guys a close-up of them. All right, so we have them all finished here. And they're standing up on their own now. You can see, like, the indent for the cup and how that gives you you know, the form of it in a vase. These are close-ups of it. This one's probably my favorite. See, and that's just how the design you're able to get with the toothpick or popsicle stick, some cells forming. Now you can really use these for anything. You can put plants in them, you can uh, put crystals in it, you can use it as a centerpiece on a table. I just wanted to show you an example on the smaller one here. I guess it wasn't dry enough um, and it started to drip on the sides. I think it gives it a pretty cool look though. It's very like oceany. Um, but yeah, that's something to look out for. So if it's doing that, that means that it wasn't 100% ready to be formed. Um, I mean, if you like that look, you can go with it as well. Some crystals might fall off, but you know, it's up to you. And you can really make any shape you want. These are just the shapes I was able to make with cups. So you know, experiment. Um, thank you for tuning in and watching my video. If you liked it, please give it a like, subscribe. I'll be posting more videos in the future. If you have anything specific you want to see, comment below and let me know. Thank you so much.